Because it just is. There was sand on the day of. In your old swimming pool? Why? Yeah, there was sand and dirt. It was yuckies. You put sand over there? I didn't put sand over there. You did. I did All right. All right, so as you've seen in the previous video, we got these guys done. Um, it is Friday afternoon. I got in the lugs, so we're opening this box and the center caps for these. Unfortunately, I don't have the tires yet. There was. So, um, Harper is out here playing. So, we're going to put the car on radials, and we are going to purchase a set of radials off of David Brinkley uh, with the Patriot car. Uh, he goes really fast, obviously. So when he pulls a set of radials off, they're pretty much lightly used in uh, the opinion of guys like myself. So who goes slow, very slow. Um, so his radials will be perfect. He's selling them to me for a stupid good deal. I'm not even gonna comment on what it was, um, but he don't have his new ones in yet. I was hoping, he said that he would get them, get them taken off this past week. And then when I messaged him yesterday, Thursday, um, he said his new ones have not come in yet, so he don't have the old ones off. So um, I'm hoping that they show up today and I get a text either today or Saturday that uh, he got them and he got them off and I can come pick the radials up because I really want to throw some radials on these wheels and put these on the wheel, wheels on the car um, to see what they're going to look like on the car with the tires and to get the back on the ground. Um, but let's go ahead and check out these lug nuts and center caps and see if all that stuff works. All right, so we got this whole kit of, I think it's 20 lug nuts with the rings, washers, everything, and four center caps. Basically, if you're doing a whole set, even though I just needed to back two because it was cheaper to buy a whole set from this guy versus buying just two caps and then, let's see here, 10 lug nuts. So this is who we got them off of. No, oh, lug nut king group. So that is going to be the eBay seller name, Lug Nut King Group. We got all this for $106, uh, 100 bucks on the listing. You know, by the time I got to my door, $106.99. And he shipped these things crazy fast. As you can see, these things come all the way from California. And this thing was freaking delivered, I think, like Tuesday. I ordered it Sunday night in North Carolina. And I think it was like Tuesday he had these to my door. So um, amazing. I'm hoping these are the right ones. The research that I did says that these are the right ones. Um, instead of going with black, it would have been a lot more. So I just went with the traditional chrome. So I think that's not gonna look bad at all with the uh, chrome-ish center cap in there. Uh, I was kind of leery about it. I was like, it may, might make it look really freaking outdated. Um, but it's not bad at all. I wish it was more recessed in. Like if it was, you know, more flush versus this old big stick out style. But um i guess it is what it is i don't know if anybody makes a smaller you know snap in cap style or what if you know for the pro stars let me know email me a link my email is always in the description uh hit me up on facebook my personal facebook the paint and paper hustle facebook or the paint and paper hustle instagram uh, hit me up on that and let me know if any uh if you have any recommendations for a nicer looking center cap even though them should work per perfectly fine man i just I like it to look a little bit more modern if possible but anyway so these are the lug nuts um we did go with the correct length so we needed a longer shank so these are the ones also that come with this package for the pro stars so these are of course you're going to have the washer on there too but they're going to go through like that and let's see here yeah that's that's perfect. So it's like right there at the back, just like it's supposed to be. So then we're perfect, man. Um, I wonder if they make black washers. I don't know. These should be fine. This should give it a cool bit of old school look, I guess. Probably use the washers I already had instead of opening that packet. What do you think, Harper? You like the new wheels? You don't like these new wheels? Oh, man. All right, so if you recall, when we did the transmission... We had a clearance issue on the bell housing and we had to cut this out of our floor. So we had this little piece that was cut out of the floor down there. So we're trying to make a patch panel that way when we put our removable trans tunnel in, that's our whole trans tunnel that comes out so you can see the transmission access it. Um, and so I'm just trying to make something that we can nut cert in, put some nut certs in the floor and bolt it in. So we've been up a piece of 90 
it's roughly 90 on this Harbor Freight bender here. And this thing is perfect for little stuff like this. I absolutely love this thing. It was cheap. It's not expensive at all. I think it's like, I can't remember the overall measurements, but we did. It's big enough that I did the wing that this car originally had. This car's had two different spill plates, one wing. Uh, I've got videos on how to build a wing right here in your home garage for Maverick on the channel. Um, and I did that whole wing off of just this bender. So this bender has been very helpful. So I got me a little piece like this. Now what we're going to do is just take our other piece. Where did I just lay it at? Lay it on here. And we're just going to make this one a little bit bigger so that it covers basically what we cut out. So um, let me trace this and uh, get it cut up. My second little favorite tool lately has been this guy right here. I wish I would have bought this thing from Harbor Freight a long time ago because uh, I have used it a bunch since I bought it. So just rolled all these edges nice and clean. This should be our patch panel. It should fit um, over top of what's there, meaning we can just drill it and not start this thing in with three little screws. Let's see here. We might have to cut a little bit of length out of it. No, she's golden. She is golden, boys. Look at that. So that will be freaking perfect. All we got to do is um, just simply drill it and put the nut certs in it. There's a lot of wires right there in the way. We got our new bump, our no, trans brake, that's trans brake button in so we can get rid of this. I told y'all, big on looks, big on looks. You don't like the way that looks. It's fine by itself, but it's not fine beside this one because they don't match. So now we got one that they do match. Watch this one hangs for a few, like this one has for a week. Um, they'll match and they'll wear at the same rate. And so they'll look the same versus this one's already got some wear on it. Um, I know they make the one that the wires uh, is like, you only have to have one wire that comes through. Uh, another, somebody else in the comment section said that they seen some Really cool one where basically somebody just built a clock spring. So all factory vehicles, they have clock springs. We deal with them when the airbags deploy, but that's what transfers the electricity into your steering wheel, such as all your buttons and your horn and everything um, where you don't see no wires. But one of my favorite thing about race cars is literally seeing the wires hanging off the steering wheel. That is my favorite, one of my favorite thing about a race car steering wheel. So whenever you take the photo, photographer takes a picture of it, or everything, the shifter, the wires, just a real raw look. Y'all know that I'm very, very about my looks. And so I do not want to do anything <laughs> that is going to help get me away from the wire look on the steering wheel. Um, it's stupid. It might be completely stupid, but it's just one thing that I have always really liked about it. All right, so we went ahead and got that button wired up. But one thing that's been being brought up um, is I've had a couple people say about this bar is that it's going to be in my knees or my shins or whatever. I don't, um, I don't know why I've, I don't people, I don't know if they don't remember the Mavericks and the comments are a two piece dash. So the lower piece of the dash is right here. Okay. So that's the bottom of the second dash. There's a whole piece of the dash goes here. I just haven't felt like cutting the dash up yet and fitting it in here, but the bottom of the actual dash is right here. So this is the, height of the bottom of the dash. Um, this bar is above the dash. This right here is the lower dash. You can see it right there. All right, that piece right there, that's the lower dash. So this bar is not gonna be in the way of the shins or knees or anything. Let's see, all right, let's hang the steering wheel up. And I've said it a couple times and I don't know why, but like, that is no freaking, I mean, I can't even, I physically can't even touch that bar. My ankles will touch the bottom of the dash if I kick my foot up. But the bar is like way up there, man. Like even if I touch my toe up here, way up here, if I kick the bottom of the dash of these bars or whatever, like I still, I'd have to slide way forward like this to even be able to touch that bar like way forward in the seat. So yeah, for anybody that's been worried about that bar, um, it's over a fist away. Like it's, that bar is nowhere near your shins 
at all. And I do want to put the lower dash back in there, but you know, it's definitely going to be chopped up and put, it goes behind that bar. I don't think I'm gonna put the Comet factory dash in because it would be so much being cut up, but I'm a, I might try to put a Maverick lower dash in. I have a Maverick lower dash and a Comet lower dash. They're a little bit different. Um, actually, they're a lot different, but the Maverick lower dash is way simpler um, if that's what I wanna do. Or I might just leave it out like that, but I would love to put the lower dash back in so it looks like the bars do actually go through the lower dash piece. You can get this really clean beveled hole look like that right there. Okay, by taking your drill bit, that's a quarter inch, and then taking a bigger one, it's bigger than the hole, and just gently running right on it. And that will deburr it, but also give it that real clean, like, um, tapered look, like that. It's rough, but it looks a lot better than just leaving it naked. All right, so we're extending our alternator harness now i went to do this the other night and i don't have any colors that are exact colors just as most of y'all probably don't have these exact oem colors this is the oem ford alternator harness for the coyote alternator that i cut out of a main battery harness now i have another battery harness at the shop but i hated to cut it up just to pull that out so i said instead of just i'm, I'm about sick and tired of just adding random wires to extend stuff and then the colors change from this pigtail to your other end of your pigtail they change because you spliced it in the center and changed the colors um i'm trying to outgrow that and out mature that and stop doing that stuff um and so what we did was we actually ordered from uh efi connection returns ls wiring okay that's if it go back to the return so lswiring.com um is where we ordered this from i looked online to try to find the cheapest uh wiring and this this site literally had the cheapest stuff so we got all 18 gauge uh the exact same colors and you buy it by the feet uh and i think this whole thing was like 25 dollars. i think for these three 30 feet of wire and it's the exact color so 25 dollars is well well worth it to me for um for the exact same color wires with the same stripes so purple i think a solid purple what gray with red and blue with red um now these are double stripes i mean there's two stripes on them but i wasn't worried about that as long as they're the same color with the same stripes that's all that i cared about so definitely be using ls wiring in the future i was going to go ahead and buy like full 30 or 50 foot rolls but i'm just currently not really exactly set up for wiring and i don't do a lot of it i'm trying to, i'm trying to do more and more um but I don't, not currently exactly set up for it, so I didn't want to buy a ton. Um, so let's get after it. Let's take these, let's put this stuff together, get this thing extended, and get this harness done and back in the car.